so a very good morning from Monmouthshire, Wales, in a very small country village called Grossmont, I do believe. And that is the view on a November, November's morning. And what we're going to do is take a quick stroll into town. But before we do that, this is my mum's house, which is there. Um, the Golf is my elder sister's car. The Mercedes there is actually my younger sister's car. Actually, they're all older than me. And the white one there is the car that I rented for this um, sad occasion. Yeah. Um, just to let you know, my mother did actually um, pass away um, on October the 31st, actually the day of travel. But let's have a look of how this village is like. I'm just going to take a little wander down here. The time is about, what is the time? Um, about quarter to eight on a morning. Oh dear. Have a good day. So my mum lived here for about, I think about 20 years, 22 years. Yeah. And this is about, it took me three hours to drive here and thank God for satellite GPS or navigation systems because no way. I have been here once before um, on my mum's 80th birthday but I actually had a driver on that day. So an autumn day, it's raining a little bit but nothing too, uh, nothing too bad and I just wanted to capture this now as it's going to be, say, stormy and the rain maybe get worse and, and windy. Uh, it doesn't really matter what day you walk here, it's usually quite quiet. So I have my two sisters at home, or in the family home, could you say there, along with my auntie, my mum's younger sister. And ah, it's actually very peaceful. You may notice there's no garbage on the floor or anything is just quite quiet with this for those people who may have seen the TV show Dalton Abbey and what you may imagine a typical Welsh or English village would look like. Well, here it is for you. The last time I went here was in at the end of summer and it was a lot warmer than this. I've never been here in the autumn or winter months. I could imagine 
if this was a snowing, that view must be spectacular. In the summer, uh, you would have lots of sheep in the distance there. I'm not too sure if you could see it on this camera. But and there's a strange sight on the left hand side which is a telephone box I would say a lot of the people here, oh there's Jeremy Clarkson in his tractor, no, I'm joking. Um, look, look at that, a telephone box. Um, in England they drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> I still look the wrong way. Now, let's look at that, a telephone box, let's just open it. And look, it's relatively clean and I think it still works. That is pretty amazing. See, just look down there. That's so beautiful. And uh, you can see the sign there. Grossmont, the best kept village in 2003. So that was 20 years ago. And, of course, being an English village, there is the pub, the Angel Inn. I have been in there before, um, when on my mum's 80th, and we had a great time there. It is a bit of a dreary day, but a bit of fresh air. Um, If you want to buy a small village house, there's one. Or something a little bit bigger from a company called Fine Country. And here is the uh, village shop. Uh, and this only opens from 8 a.m. I think to around about lunchtime and you can go and get your newspaper there and you can get some Heinz ketchup and maybe a very expensive packet of cigarettes. And then inside here is the church. It's a very old church. I don't think it's open at the moment, but we can just go into the grounds here. And I do believe this is where my mum is going to be laid to rest in a couple of weeks' time, um, which is there. So, this is a typical English stroke Welsh village. For the Welsh viewers, I apologise, yeah, it's in Monmouthshire, so I should say Welsh. Uh, let's just call it British. It's very clean. You just don't see any dirt on the ground or whatever and it is just absolutely beautiful and quiet. Could I live here? To be honest with you I'd find it a bit boring but everyone to their own and um, this is where my mum has lived for the last 20 years of her life and for her it must have been an absolute dream um, and I just wanted to show you while I'm in the United Kingdom only for a short space of time um, what this village uh, looks like see some of the buildings are just so old <laughs> Look at all these little alleyways you can see like that. Uh, 
I think I'm going to get out of breath now. So, I think, oh, quiz night, last Wednesday of the month. Oh, we missed that. Never mind. So let me take the camera off. Let me just show you here. So, thank you so much for your time. And I'll leave it rolling a little bit. And God bless you all. And thank you all for your kind support, wherever you are in the world. I'll put the camera back on and we can take a walk up the hill. Bye-bye for now.